In this episode of 3x7 Outdoor, we're lighting up the night with two awesome mini light bulbs. Let's go! Welcome back. We're glad you stopped by to see what's going on in the 3x7 studio. Today we've got two awesome light kits. We have light bars for the Bronco and Defender. And we also have a pro scale light kit for the High Trail Cheyenne. We're going to be installing that today. These are just little references. Um, this can go on your Bronco or Defender. It's part number 9786. And there is a roll bar light that Traxxas has made available. 9863, and they say that it's only for the Cheyenne. In a minute, you'll find out that it fits perfectly on the Ford. Let's dig into these things. So all of the Traxxas TRX4M line have some form of a headlight that it comes with when you buy it. Bronco, the Defender have bumper lights, but when they stepped into the high trails, they came with headlights that actually function as they should. Obviously, because there were no bumper lights back in 79, something like that. It wasn't really a thing. 79 has headlights in it, and also does this Cheyenne. So those will have to come out today. When we put in the Pro Scale lights, we're replacing those lights, and we'll also get running lights, tail lights, backup lights, hazard lights, you know the deal. This already has the Pro Scale light kit in it, and it looks amazing. It's got hazard lights, reverse lights, brake lights, daytime running lights, it's got all that. This is just an add-on for extra like off-road type stuff. It's gonna be an absolute unit. So this light kit actually does also work on the high trail. As you can see right here, this is our high trail Ford and it's got all the lights you could ever want on it. Roof rack on the top here, right here. It's got everything. If you're wondering how this is supposed to mount onto the Defender, you need to have these little brackets. And I'll show you how to put it on because it's a little confusing. So you're gonna want this little clip to be like that. And then you're gonna mash this onto here. And it clips on just like that. Then you're gonna pull it forward, push this, and then that will clip onto there. Maybe push it back just a little bit so that it's secure. And then once we drill a small hole into the top right here, this will mount right on to there. Also on the light bar, you've got to take off these little pieces because those are for the Bronco. If you have a Bronco, keep them on. But if you have a Defender, you're gonna to wanna to take those off. So if you can see, there's a small slot. That's where those go. It's just going to fit right just like that. There's no uh, little mask that it, they give you. Sometimes they'll give you a little mask that you can put on that tells you where it's supposed to go, but I'm just, I'm just eyeing it up and that seems pretty correct. So all I'm gonna do is just this excess plastic like around the edges here, that is okay to clip off. It's not going to damage it. I'm just going to shave this edge off, this edge, and then it should fit. Made it just large enough. Those go in. All right, so this is the old stock light kit out of the Cheyenne. Which could be used in some other project someday. You could just pop these off. A lot of cars come with light buckets where you could push that LED in that light out but now we have this beautiful new light kit in here how easy was it to install this one was simple super simple all right we'll plug it right in well here they are a different assortment of lights all of your lighting needs these have the pro scale lights and you can see these light bars actually function in sync with the pro scale light kit because they have this little party mode this little show off mode to show what they do along with this hazard lights look amazing we have the headlights on this those ambers just look so vibrant and good i just love it look at those but they sure do look really awesome yep they all look great this one we kind of modified ourselves and made this work out it works great for us the fender looks just ready to off-road. I think, man, the Defender's just looking better every second. But what do you think about that red, white, and blue duo? Duo? Good. Why'd I say duo? Duo. Trio. Trio. <laughs> All right, 
let's test out these lights. A little bit of a dark atmosphere, so we're gonna test them out. Right up here we go, so easy, so nice. I love these TRX4Ms. I know this isn't a crawling review, it's more of a light review, but still, such a blast to use these cars. Getting hung up a little bit. Still making it though. You got it, Chev? Maybe. I think you got it. There we go. A little help from your friends. Getting a little caught up. What are you caught up? the teeter-totter down it's making it over there you go can you get some grip here can you squeeze past me oh oh he's made it those luggy tires just grip right up on mine There's a lot more light here. Oh, you think you can make it? Oh, take your camera out. <laughs> no. Oh. Boom. And he's made it. Try this out. I would I would try slow first. One, go. Come on. Oh, we Not made her. Tour, huh? All right. Carefully that you don't tip over. Straight over the rocks. I think the this is probably one of the most just fun parts, just because it's like realism. You can see those. Tires just melting over the rocks. Well guys, hopefully you liked that video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell because we really appreciate it. It shows us how much you love your videos. And the mini mods aren't done yet, so mm -hmm. we're gonna come back for the next one. We've got a lot of videos on them. Also, share it with a friend if you think they might like it because views are what we want. So as many views as you can get on this video if you think it deserves it, Please help this video reach the algorithm. Mm -hmm. And if you're local, make sure you go to Op for Hobby and pick up your own light kits. These are super bright, as you can see. They do really, really put a damper on your battery life. TRX4Ms run for more than an hour on a I full battery. Two hours almost. Two hours almost, yeah. And this one ran with all the lights running for around 25 minutes. So it really does put a damper. It's a lot of lights on there now. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, hopefully you liked that video, and we will see you in the next one. 3x7 Outdoors, signing out. Bye for now.